Hey YouTube, VA Backpacker Dave here. I uh, wanted to do a follow-up review on my Tom Brown Tracker, the T1. This is the largest of the Tom Brown Trackers that's made. Um, my earlier review, I compared this to a K-Bar Heavy Bowie, which, without a doubt, is one of my favorite knives. I, I, I love the K-Bar Heavy Bowie. You can still buy it on eBay. Um, it's a fairly inexpensive knife, and it's a very durable knife, and uh, you can beat the hell out of it. It's a great knife. Um, that said, however, um, after a couple of years of using the, the, the Tom Brown, I've grown to really love and appreciate this knife and have done a little research on this knife. Um, there are a lot of reviews on YouTube that bash this knife, saying it's nothing more than a movie prop because of the movie The Hunted. Um, and, and quite frankly, it's not true. So I wanted to dispel those reviews and put some truth behind this and, and tell you the history of this knife. So what you're looking at right now is a knife that is a result of a conversation that took place well over 20 years ago back in the 80s between Tom Brown and a journalist. Um, this journalist asked Tom if you found yourself out in the middle of the woods in a survival situation and only had one tool available to you, what would it be? And Tom thought about the question and, and responded that the tool did not exist. Uh, to which, <laughs> which the journalist said, why not? And Tom responded because he hadn't invented it yet. Uh, and the journalist also in, in turn responded to that, that that was in fact one tool slash knife that he would indeed like to see. Well, Tom decided he wanted to see it as well. So... Uh, over a period of about seven years uh, and dozens of prototypes later he commissioned this knife to a custom knife maker by the name of Ed Lombie who made this knife for several years um, he did retire when he retired Tom then licensed uh, the knife to a gentleman by the name of Dave Beck who as well was a custom knife maker uh, and, and he made the tracker for several years as well after about 10 years, Beck retired, and when Beck retired, this knife, you couldn't buy it. It was not available for three, four, five years. Then in 2001, Tom was hired as a technical consultant for the film The Haunted, which everybody knows uh, this knife from, and several, several people bashed this knife because of that movie, but uh, anyway, Tom was commissioned as a technical consultant on the film The Haunted. And at that time, there were no Beck versions of this knife available. This knife, he couldn't find it. So Tom asked a gentleman by the name of Chip McConnell to hand make the movie version of this knife, which you saw in the movie, used by Benicio, uh, Benicio del Toro. Um, it doesn't quite match this exactly, but it, it's pretty much shape and form function the same. Tom, after the movie uh, began production, began searching for somebody to make this knife. Um, and after interviewing several knife makers and companies, he chose a gentleman by the name of Mike Fuller and uh, Topps USA, which is one of the top tactical knife manufacturers in the United States. And now, uh, as of today, and from that, that point forward to, through today, Topps is the only licensed manufacturer to cover this knife, to make this knife, manufacture this knife. Um, shortly after this knife was commissioned to Tops, it was featured on the April cover of Blade Magazine back in 2003. And this is the final product. This is what you see today. Uh, and again, after using this knife for a little over two years now, uh, I, I'm, I'm more impressed with this knife than I was when I first bought it extremely functional again it is a, it's a jack of all trades master of none but if if you found yourself out in the woods with one tool and one tool only no axe uh, no knife you had one one thing available to you this is what I would pick even though I do love my k-bar heavy buoy you can perform so many more things with this knife it's got the draw blade you could skin with it you could chop with it you can saw with it, you can baton wood, process wood, 
Uh, you can even uh, pop these bad boys out, split a nice uh, birch, you know, two inch tree and insert it and use it as a spear. This is a great knife. So I, I am posting this response in, in response, this video in response to my own video of the comparison of the tops to the K-Bar Heavy Bowie. And I gotta say, I am a true believer in the Tom Brown tracker now. Um, so much so that I not only own the T1, but uh, I also bought, I get it out one handed here, the little T4. Love this knife. It's a great little pack knife. Great for processing uh, kindling, uh, cutting up food, anything. This, the, these are great knives. Um, are you going to pay a lot for these knives? Yeah. Uh, but in my opinion, they're worth it. I, I have no regrets in buying these knives. So, questions, let me know. Post them. I'll respond to them. Uh, haters of this knife, I apologize, but uh, I, I like it. That's not to say that the K-Bar is not an excellent knife. I will always love my K-Bars. But uh, I'm a firm believer in the, the Tom Brown Tracker. This is a great knife. And it's not just a result of the movie The Hunted, which a lot of people think. So, that said, VA Backpacker Dave out. Let me know if you got any questions. Bye-bye.